Hey, good morning. It's a Tuesday, July 28th. It's still 2020, and we're still here, and God is still being faithful. This morning, for our thought, I want to focus on one particular application of both of the videos we did yesterday. In the morning, you remember we looked at Ephesians 2.10, which encourages us and reminds us that we're God's workmanship, God's work of art, created in Christ Jesus to do good works that he prepared in advance for us to do. And just in case I didn't stress it yesterday, that advance was before the world began. God is that powerful, that cool, that much in control that what's happening today in your life is something that God orchestrated, planned, and was bringing about for your good, and he did it before this whole stuff here on earth happened. And then last night, we focused on the particular aspect of what something that God wants you to do, and this is always true, so if you're never quite sure about what you should be about, it's always true that the Spirit of God wants you to be about pursuing His fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. That's a given. So we can always start there. You never have to wonder. There's, of course, specific application and things that you have to do, like go to work, uh, you know, eat, take care of people, that, those, kind of, those kinds of things. But there's a, the, you can always start, and it should always start right there. I just dropped my book. Okay, I'm back. And what I dropped was this book, Get Wisdom. And it's, you know, Bruce's book on how, how to apply uh, wisdom to your life. So this morning, I'm going to take advantage of what she did with patience, and that's part of this element of what it means to get wise. It's one of the 23 things that she highlighted here. And this is her definition of patience. Patience is accepting problems without complaining, trusting that God will care for me. Patience is about accepting problems without complaining, trusting that God will care for me. Now my own spin of that is, uh, living in the expectation of God's care. So you see right off the bat, patience is not something that is passive. Passive, patience is aggressive, it's, it's a force because you are trusting God. And we may have an occasion to complain. When you have an occasion to complain, God is calling you to patience. Not a passive, weak patience, but a patience that trusts what God will care for me when I do something hard, okay? It's that aggressive aspect that we leave out of patience. I need to be patient that when I go and obey God, and sometimes that's extremely unpleasant and very hard to do, I need to be patient that God will care for me and not let other people determine what I'm going to do. You see, losing patience is failing to do what God wants us to do because we're afraid of the outcome. Okay? Okay? If I'm afraid of the outcome, I'm not being patient if I know it's what God wants me to do. So Ruth has this prayer. Now, this book is written for kids, but like Paul Tripp says, forget about the kids. He needs it. And I couldn't agree more. So listen to the prayer that Ruth has for patience. Dear God, you are always patient and loving with me. That's the bottom line. God's care for us. Please help me to be patient too. I know that you cause everything to happen for my good, and you work things out at exactly the right time. Help me to trust you and not complain when things are difficult. In Jesus' name, amen. You see the aggressive tone there? Don't be a whip and bail and complain. Rather, what does God have for you? How can you demonstrate his power, his grace in this moment? so that you can demonstrate to other people a, a life that is full of wisdom and grace and truth. And that's something this day where you can ask God to specifically prepare you for that good work that you know is coming, that he prepared before the world began. He prepared it for you this day so that you can be patient, aggressively patient, and bring honor to his name 
and bless those around you. And that's the thought for today. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you tonight, Lord willing. And please, get in touch. You know, love to hear from you. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Um, tell others if you want. But again, I'm just so thankful to be able to talk to you each day. You have a great day. Bye-bye.